is up Friday nighters welcome back to the just another Friday night podcast pre-show <laughs> I want to give everyone a little bit of time to kind of get in I know it's 8 34 on a Friday night the day after Thanksgiving um, so it may take people a second or two to jump in I'm supposing but I don't know, maybe not. Maybe you're just all turkeyed out and laid out somewhere. Or Black Friday out. Yeah, or Black Friday out too, yeah. But in case you guys don't know, I'm CM Chuck. Beside me, my podcast partner here, Double A, Adam and Tim Adam. How's it going, guys? I hope you had a good Thursday, Thanksgiving. hope you had a really good Friday today. Hopefully, if, if you guys were off, hopefully. Yes, yes. We happen to both be off, and we had all yeah. these big plans that we yeah. were going to get together early and have this pre-show out for you by like noon <laughs> wrong that didn't happen so here we are late at night again and it's friday night up. it's just another friday night it is just another friday night <laughs> we want to welcome those of you that are here um maria says about time yes sorry mom it's better late than ever i guess and let me give us a sleepy face let you know that you're tired Hi, nothing helps pass the time better than just another friday night podcast pre-show again guys a little reminder this is just the pre-show <laughs> there's actually a real podcast companion that goes with this uh pre-show you can listen to that on anchor spotify itunes tune in google podcasts um iHeartRadio. itunes yeah and guess what today we already recorded the episode mm -hmm. so normally we record the episode after we do this live but since we did get together a little bit earlier we recorded the episode yeah. earlier yeah. and now it's available now it's available it's yeah. out right now there's already yeah. a facebook tweet about it that you can a facebook post about it you can like and share and there's a tweet about it that you can like and share and i hope that you will so let these says hello handsome cousins well we don't like to you know we want to be modest but yes yes hello beautiful cousin also let and listen, we got a few people here joining Ooh, in. So maybe right. you guys are not too turkey out. Right. That's awesome. Right. We appreciate y'all being here. Hey, all if right. you're here and you're watching live, drop a comment. Say hello. Let us know that you're there. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Um, there's uh, some happy Thanksgivings and some pumpkin pies in here. Uh, to you, Double A. Oh, happy, all right. Awesome. Happy, happy, uh, happy awesome. Thanksgiving. Awesome. Uh, hi, Felicia. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, uh, if you don't know anything about Just Another Friday Night, we like to talk about all things pop culture, comic books, movies, music, TV, uh, sometimes sports. We're going to talk a little bit about that tonight. So, uh, well, yeah, first time, welcome. Felicia, we're glad to have you here. So please tell us your likes, uh, anything that you might want to talk about. Uh, that's what we do on this pre-show. This is for you guys, the Friday Night Faithful. Um, if you're one of our Friday Nighters, then you're automatically a member of the Friday Night Faithful, and that is also our Facebook group, so please join that if you're not already in there. You can go in there and post anything you want about music, movies, TV. Anything. Yeah, pretty much the only thing that off limits is like politics. We don't really talk politics in there. We try to keep it all fun, things to get your mind off of the woes of the world, but man, we love wrestling news, superhero news, yeah. comic book news, We even put that news. picture of uh, those action figures of Mario and... Uh, I don't know who that princess was. That's right. That's right. Like yeah. Pulp Fiction. Yeah, some Pulp Fiction. Oh, Mandalorian. Kind of yes, we're definitely going to get to the Mandalorian, Felicia, tonight. Uh, that yeah, is great episode, huh? Great, great episode. Wow, what an episode today. We had to get on there quick and watch uh, the Mandalorian today because social media was blowing up and we didn't want to get it spoiled. So uh, gonna... American Horror Story, I'm so-so. Uh, I, I didn't really care for the Antichrist last season. I thought it mm -hmm. ended kind of stupid with... Uh, some of the other ones, I, I like some of the other anthology American Horror Stories. I missed that one. I, I was really with them up until Roanoke, and that was probably ah, okay. my last okay. one. So okay. I went I went pretty yeah, deep Yeah, I didn't see Antichrist on this last one. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. I loved um, Coven, loved... Um, um, the Hotel one? The hotel one was okay. good. Um, I'm not trying to think of the other one. The first season? How about the no, first the season? second season. The as Asylum. 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 Is, is the uh, other one. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Please, <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. So those are good. Love American Horror Story. Love how they use the cast uh, over and over again. Great. Yeah, it's uh, cool how they connect there. it. Yeah. Um, it's Evan, cool how they connect it. Evan Peters, who also is yeah, Quicksilver. Quicksilver. Right? Yeah, in, yeah. Uh, he's in like, stuff. Yeah, he's in a lot of them. Very, very good. Yeah. And his Quicksilver, I think I like him a little bit better than the other Quicksilver, the Marvel Universe Quicksilver. Yeah. More fun, more fun. Yeah. But guys, we got uh, a little bit of stuff to talk about today. Uh, not too <laughs> much. Younger. Yes, yeah, yeah I yeah. love that first episode of Hotel yeah. <laughs> for, for her performance. Yeah. Um, yeah, very well done. Um, 
A little bit of things to talk about. We got a bit of grabs. Of yes, yes. Just not necessarily Wednesday night, Wednesday grab, comic book grabs. We got some other things that Double A picked yeah, up. Yeah, so um, you want me to start off with the comics? Yeah, go right ahead. Okay. However you feel. Okay, so uh, I picked up issue three of Juggernaut. It's Ooh. a really good story. It's kind of reestablishing him as a badass, so it's a really good comic. Love that. Looks really good on this cover. Mm-hmm. Fabian N- Nissen's, Nissen's yeah. I want to say his name wrong. Rob Liefeld's uh, issue three of Snake Eyes. Storm Shadow is going to get involved in this battle nice. to help his old buddy, nice. Snake Eyes. Maestro, how the Hulk became a dictator. Mm-hmm. Okay, but first he's got to go through the Greek god Hercules to get this title of the Maestro. I'm reading this one too. I haven't picked up my copy yet, though. I'll pick that up tomorrow. And probably. I bought this from Authority Comics, and I don't know what the hell happened to it, so I had to buy it again. Uh, the Crow. Uh, I don't know. It disappeared. <laughs> very, very awesome yeah, cover. Yeah, so there's my grabbles of the comic book week. Movie week. Uh, I bought this movie that a lot of people seem to hate. I watched it. I enjoyed it. It reminded me of the old New Mutants. So I picked up New Mutants. Guys, if you haven't seen it, it's a really good movie. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. These are some of the classic New Mutants mm-hmm. right here. Mm-hmm. Uh, they do a really good job. It's really freaky. It's got like a horror, a horror kind of vibe, vibe to it, yeah. but they're also being like almost like, how would I say? It? Uh, it's not like uh, they're being experimented on, but uh, somebody's watching them. Somebody's trying to see what the hell you know what their powers are and everything. So it's a really good movie. Uh, it's at Redbox, so if you don't want to buy it, check it out at Redbox for yeah. a dollar, right? Yeah. A dollar, right. Candle, and it's right? only yeah. like an hour and a half. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's really it's I I liked it. I enjoyed it. It's hi, one of Christina. my it's oh, hi Christina. It's one of my favorite uh, X Men movies. Yeah, franchise. And that's a bold statement because you know sometimes there's not that many of those great movies in that X Men franchise. So no. if one of them is going to raise no. itself up. I saw I got the pleasure of seeing it in theaters through Friday Nighter uh, Belinda for uh, oh that's right the other, Kennedy, for other Friday Madison. Nighter Madison's birthday. Madison. They rented out the entire theater yeah, at, yeah. at the city based cinema. Guys, you can do it for a hundred dollars. Man, it's a lot of fun. Um, the owner, uh, Brad Smith, there, reach out to him. City Bay Cinema, 100 bucks, get a theater to yourself. Watch a movie that you want to see, an old classic old movie, maybe even a new movie. Uh, do a birthday there, gathering there. Um, I think they can do up to 20 now. At the time we did Ooh. it, it was uh, uh, did it up to 10, yeah. Mm-hmm. But we got to go there. She invited us. We had the pleasure of seeing the mutants in theater, and it was really rad in theater. I really liked it too. Mm-hmm. I'm giving, hearing nothing but bad things. I don't know why. I don't know why. It seemed like it was well acted. I thought it was a really good. Movie. Well written. It yeah. looked cool. I mean, yeah. you know what I mean, so good effects. Uh, yeah. So uh, like check it, it out. See it for yourself and let us know what you think. Yeah. Uh, part of the purpose of this doing this pre-show, guys, this is our chance for us to kind of show you more visual things like this. We can't show you on the audio podcast because you're just listening to us talk. But um, here we get to show you some things, share some things, uh, but we also get to have direct feedback with you guys. Tell us about what you thought about last week's episode. Last week we talked all about 1999 in film. 1999 in film, guys. There was even some great uh, posts today. Double A got up mm-hmm. about Fight Club, The Matrix, Matrix Star, Wars. Star Wars Episode mm-hmm. One. Uh, so many good movies out of 1999. Um, you know, Magnolia, we American, American Beauty, Magnolia, he, Thomas Crown Affair. Yeah, Thomas Crown Affair. Our post on Instagram got got like twenty likes. So a lot oh, of people oh, there. 49. 49. Oh, 49. Oh, I had checked the numbers. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. People well, like Thomas, the Thomas Crown Affair. Yeah. Guys, I told you it's one of my top twenty favorite movies. They got more than uh, World is Not Enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's not everybody's favorite nineteen ninety nine Pierce movie. Apparently. Uh, well, Thomas, Thomas Crown, Thomas yeah. Crown is. Thomas what it is. Crown is. So, yeah. do you like any of those movies, guys? What What is it about? When did we forget? Yeah, you know what when movies? Because uh, uh, Hokey Bear called me uh, earlier. Mm-hmm. He said, uh, "Check out Thirteenth Floor." That came out in nineteen ninety nine mm-hmm. too. For it's uh, Vincent D'Onofrio. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he said that's a that really one. good movie. So nice. Uh, I'll probably nice. be checking that out from from the year of nineteen ninety nine. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, 1999, like I said before, a good year for me. Graduated high school. Yeah. Um, yeah the sure Spurs did. got got their first they championship. Their first title. Yeah. And uh, lots of good movies I found out. Like I said, a in lot. my top 20, I had yeah. a bunch that I liked from yeah. from 1999. So, uh, met the good stuff. But did you hear that episode? What did you guys think of it? We do about an hour and a half pretty much mm-hmm. now. It's becoming our standard on the podcast. Um, 
Listen to it on Spotify. Listen to it on... Um, oh, Talented Mr. Ripley. Anything. Tell yeah, me. yeah no, that's, that's right. a really good Thanks one. Yeah. Hi, Yelly. Hi, Yelly. What's going on? Yeah, you Talented well? Mr. Ripley. Matt Damon actually became one of my favorite uh, actors. So. Maybe, would you call his breakout really role? Uh, probably not. No? Not I don't quite. know. Felicia, help me. Is that yeah. his breakout role? Maybe. Maybe. I, I thought Goodwill Hunting might have been it. Uh, you're right. Definitely right. Definitely right. Probably Goodwill Hunting, yeah. Jude Law? Maybe breakout? Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe his. Kind of. Maybe his. Yeah, kind of. I, I remember them uh, being on the piano and uh, yeah, singing we, the, we posted the up American song. Pie. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah funny we movie. Love American funny, funny Pie. Funny movie. Great movie. Yeah, there. it's in the Friday Night Faithful. We yeah. posted that one. Yeah, if you're not a member, please join the Friday yeah. Night Faithful group. Yeah. Uh, I think again. we have posted like, uh, watch out for the pie before you eat it. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Make yeah. sure you check your pie before you eat it. McDonald's <laughs> are homemade. <laughs> um, Guys, uh, if you case you're wondering, we are also on Instagram yeah. at J A F N Podcast. Please give us a yeah. follow there, just yeah. like that. Just mm-hmm. another Friday night, J A F N, and we're also at J A F N Podcast on Twitter. And Double A has been doing some great things on our Twitter, guys. We're about eight people away from getting a hundred followers. Yeah. So, guys, help us make the push there. If you got guys, make if you Twitter, like sports, if you like boxing, wrestling, comics, uh, follow our Twitter. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, it's good. Ah, Jude Law was great in AI. AI. That's right. Good okay. one. Good so pull there. She's good saying that AI is his breakout. So. Hi, Jess. Hi, Jess. Appreciate Jess. you joining, guys. And hey, we appreciate all you guys. Jess here Ortega are, like, is the artist of this great uh, symbol okay. that we have on. We have some, uh, she is the one who uh, did this. So thank you, Jess. Yeah, and we uh, also uh, got some really cool. Excuse me, guys. Here, I'm trying to reach over stuff. Here. Look at this. I'm going to show you guys this. We got these ah, brand new masks. Brand new masks made, made. How awesome is this? Look at this. With the logo right on there. Yeah. So you get to protect ourselves. We hope you're all mm-hmm. wearing your masks. You'll be seeing us wearing these around. And you know what? We may have a few extras. Uh, mm-hmm. We want to thank uh, Friday Nighter uh, Victoria for these, making these. So thank you. Yeah, she did. I didn't. We didn't ask her to. She did out of the kindness of her heart. Yes. So yes. That was so nice so of her. And, and Kim and Jess, thank you all but so yes, much for the Jess masks. Jess Ortega is the artist of this. Mm-hmm. Our rendition didn't even come close to this. So, <laughs> yeah. So, so we're very happy about, about well, we love our logo. This is yeah. one of two. We have two logos, mm-hmm. actually. The other one has our, our name on there, too. Both yeah. designed uh, by Jess and with a lot of help from uh, also two... Um, Graph X mm-hmm. Plus, mm-hmm. Um, touching it up right over there, touching it up and really mm-hmm. making it kind of refined so that we can put it the all wires, right? So, uh, yeah, he added, yeah, he added the, wire. the wire. Yeah, he added the wire yeah. too, and then on the uh, shorter, the smaller version, um, their name on Which, top. Uh, so it actually actually looks like this. Um, our other. Logo. Oh yeah, there you go, right there. That's that beauty right there. Yeah. And double A getting in the spirit here for Christmas, right? Oh, so yeah. Pretty cool. It's going to be yeah. on my tree. <laughs> well, it might be here. I might leave it here. So yeah, no, it needs yeah. to be on the tree. Oh, okay. okay. Kara says, I want a mask. All right, Kara, well, we will hook you up. We'll see what we can do. Um, we're working on on, on all things mm-hmm. here, merch-wise, uh, alongside our friends at Deuces Mercado. Mm-hmm. Guys, please reach out to them on Facebook. Um, you can ask them for almost anything yeah. that you want our logo on, and they'll uh, be able to put it over there. Uh, Amazing Annie is uh, on her game. I'm picking up some stuff from her tomorrow, most likely some merch, and I'll show you guys that stuff next week. But these masks, again, we're kind of done. Um, we're done by uh, Victoria. Uh, and um, I think Kim uh, may, may have had a hand in this uh, as well. So we're really super appreciative of that. And we're excited to show those off yeah, and wear awesome. those that out. Yeah, cool thank treat. you guys so much. Yeah. yeah, and we do have a few extras. So we're trying to get some mm-hmm. people that are in need or in want of a mask, a mask. So very mm-hmm. cool. Very cool. Um, Double A, anything else? Tomorrow, big night, fight night. Fight night. The return of Mike Tyson to the ring against Roy Jones Jr. Uh, now, it is like an exhibition fight in every sense of the word. It's mm-hmm. only eight rounds. It's two-minute rounds. Uh, gloves are going to be a little bit bigger. Uh, if there is a cut, they are going to stop the fight. If there is a knockdown, they are going to stop the fight. Supposedly, there is no winners. Uh, it doesn't matter. No There's judges no judges. Either, right? Nothing. Yeah. It's yeah. just an exhibition in every sense of the word. Uh, so it's fifty dollars. So it's up to you if you want to just see Tyson back in the ring or not. It's up to you. So and he's up against Roy Jones Jr., who was one of the greats of his myself time. Myself so. and CM are going to be watching. Yeah, we'll be watching. We it. are going to do it. We'll tell you guys what we think. We thought maybe it would be episode worthy. 
But then we thought because of the simulations, there might not be enough of a fight to do an entire episode oh, on. So, uh, but we'll definitely give you our review of what we thought of it when we see it. Um, when we see it tomorrow when we when we uh, go live with you guys next Friday, and we'll tell you what, what we thought what happened. So um, we're looking forward to seeing it. It'll we be are interesting, mm-hmm. and uh, hopefully the undercard is uh, good too. Might it's good. weird. It's a weird undercard. It's like a YouTuber. There's like Nate Robinson, a former basketball player okay. that's getting involved in boxing. It's weird. It's weird. But like three undercard uh, cards. Uh, double A, who's putting it on? Is the fight being put on by I think it's Tyson's group. I think Tyson oh, okay. actually His has own, a group. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. And I wasn't too sure about getting it until I had like a kind of like a survey with uh, some of the closer Friday Night Faithful members mm-hmm. I have. Mm-hmm. And uh, everyone just agreed. It doesn't really matter what the fight is. They just want to see Tyson back in the ring. So Yeah. Um, he looks great. We've all seen the videos of him working out, yeah, right? So he, he weighed in amazing. at 220 today, and he looks really good. Yeah. 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 So it's going to be, I think it's going to be exciting. And, and hopefully, I mean, you know, even if it's just pretty much a glorified sparring match, these two guys are um, legends, uh, Hall of Famers. Well, you know, it's funny, Sam. I read that, like, uh, when Marciano and Ali uh, filmed their kind of, like, little exhibition, uh, they put it in theaters and it made like thirty-five million. So really? There, so oh, there was people interested okay. in it even then, okay. even when it was like nineteen seventy something. Uh, so Marciano was like way past his prime, but mm-hmm. it was just like a real like simple exhibition like that. So I believe in Rocky Balboa as well. Yeah. Yes. he was fighting yeah. an exhibition against. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Oh, I forget his name in the movie, uh, but it said Antonio Tarver, right? Is it's Tarver. Yeah, yeah. Mason. Uh, uh, something the line Mason Dixon Mason, Mason the line Dixon, Dixon. Yeah. yeah oh well, here we go uh, Mario Delgado Mario. in the house seven total fights he says Mario big time fight fan we know that cheers to you Mario Mario I know that you asked me to give you a, a, a call and I'm sorry that I didn't get a chance to do that but maybe you have a chance to answer our question here now while you're watching us live um, if not that's totally okay but our question was about incentive books how how does a shop get what determines what makes a price a book, value an incentive book and what determines the price value i had a little experience i hate to be repetitive he went, but he went to two comic shops for that black and white spawn cover with chadwick boseman one of them was signed for 10.99 and the other one was signed for 6.99 is that correct that's correct why that's correct. the different prices if yeah. they're the same cover why one shop signed it for 10.99 why the other one six ninety nine? Our guess was based on that how many you order. Like if Double A's shop orders a hundred of the regular spawn cover, he might get maybe twenty. But if I order two hundred, then I'll get forty. So I guess because I have more, I can sell it for less. The incentive cover, and he may choose to put his price up higher. higher. The reason why is because I went to the the ten ninety nine store first, and I bought it there because I saw it there, and I bought it. But then when I went to the other shop, I was like, oh man, it's here for seven. I could have bought it for seven instead of 11 so we're just trying to understand what garners an incentive books price is it solely based on how many you get and the shop gets and then the shop gets to set their own price so um just the thing that we were curious about because i bought a different incentive book last week for 15 dollars, and i was like oh it's a little steep i felt like but but i get it you know what i mean so you know maybe you know a little bit more and can fill us out uh, fill us in on that well we know you know a lot more um Oh, okay. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so, to the owner. <laughs> yeah, the owner. Ha- the o- uh, Mario says here, if you're reading our comments, uh, the owner has the option to profit. All right, good to know. Yeah, that's good to know. And then also, Badu Jack. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. Very cool stuff. <laughs> ah, and then Mario okay. also says that bigger stores have more quantity, so I guess that they can push the price lower is what I'm assuming that you would do to sell more, right? Okay. That's yeah, how I would yeah. go about it. Yeah. So, okay, very interesting. It was very interesting. We just... We're weirded out why there was such a difference on the uh, on the, on price. the price between yeah. the two places. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, you know, the three to four dollars almost. But yeah, okay. For a comic, cool. it, it's it's a low pricey for us for a comic book. Sure, we think it's low pricey. So. <clears throat> for sure, for sure. Yeah. And uh, again, huge thanks to Mario Delgado, who yeah. is guys out at Authority Comics, found inside Traders Village, guys. Uh, Go there and meet the best man in the comic book game. And help you out. If you know nothing about comic books, you will learn something, mm-hmm. and you'll learn about making an investment. Just call if you have a question. Just yeah. If you're interested in maybe like uh, Punisher's first appearance, he'll let you know uh, if it's a good buy or not. Or uh, if you say like uh, if a page is torn, 
should we get her or not? You know, does it lower the value? Yes, it does lower the value. Mm -hmm. Mario will tell you why it lowers the value. You know, so uh, he has a lot of knowledge. He'll tell you which ones to get, which ones, uh, you know, to avoid. You know, so yeah. if you're starting your collection, he'll help a lot. Yeah. And Mario says, either give back on this or profit. Yeah, no, definitely. That definitely makes sense. I get it for sure. Um, so we appreciate that, Mario. Thank you so much. We actually talked about this before we went live and said, man, we should see if you can jump in with us on the live and uh, we just add you into the conversation here or whatever. But we'll definitely set something like that up for next time. But um, yeah. Um, so guys, also, it is Black Friday. We did mention mm -hmm. that. Uh, how did everyone do? Did anybody go out, pick up anything cool? Were there some TV? super sales? We missed out. TV. My mm -hmm. dad was TV hunting. He TV hunts every year. I don't know why. He just keeps trying to get a bigger one. <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, did anyone land anything cool? You know, the uh, the uh, incentive, uh, excuse me, I'm still thinking about incentive comments, <laughs> but the uh, the Baby Yoda, did anybody land the animatronic Baby Yoda? Ooh, yeah, Any yeah, of the, yeah. the gifts of the uh, the season that are supposed to be uh, right. big? Yeah. What did people get? Did anybody get anything? Did anybody go out? Were there some super sales? How was it? Was it scary? Were people covered up? We hope that they were. Um, you know, because we know that they were trying to get the sales out early so that way people would have a chance to shop before. And there was supposed to be really no differences today, but I don't know if they still did big door busters or anything like that. Uh, let's see here in the comments. Uh, Mario, again, uh, do the math. Uh, one, uh, one every 50 comics must buy 50 for one incentive book. Ah, okay. Okay, so that makes sense. All right, so you're only going to get so many based on how many you buy. And I get that might be... Uh, different depending on the title you're not sure why am I gonna buy a whole bunch of this book it's like I told you when yeah. I was looking for that uh, con uh, Star Trek mm -hmm. issue you know Alien Worlds uh, was like well we only ordered two because we didn't think it was gonna sell you know and they ended Crazy. up selling two yeah or two so yeah and I think yeah. I found I found, found it at Heroes yeah. but it was like the there was there was only uh, they had two covers and you, I asked you which one you wanted, mm -hmm. and the one you wanted was the last one of yeah. that cover. Yeah. So I, I get it. You might not order that heavy on something like Star Trek without without knowing, I think so. you know. Well, because, I mean, I, I suppose the shop stands to lose the money if, if there's no, yeah. you know, that book doesn't sell. Yeah, I mean, I bought it based on JM's writing, mm -hmm. and it was kind of like a what-if situation. So that's, yeah. that's why I... Which that, that's kind of what weirded me out about the situation with the book I bought, the the girl walks home alone at night. Oh, that's right. Because yeah, I'm yeah. like, who knows about this? Yeah. I didn't even know that there was. I didn't even know there was going to be a comic, and I own the movie, and I'm a fan of it. But I was like, wow! Not only is there a comic, but there's like three covers. Like mm -hmm. I was like, do people know about that's this? Weird. And the, the guy at the shop didn't even know. Yeah, I was right, like, this yeah, is a three. movie. Did you ever see this movie? And he was like, nah, I didn't even know about that. <laughs> and he was like, you know, so it's interesting, but yeah. Everything has its own dynamic, guys. Um, anywho, moving right along, um, you might be wondering what the topic of tonight is on tonight's episode. And if you've been glancing at the background, maybe you're trying to squint and see, like, what is it? What are they doing? Or you looked at our shirts. Sometimes you can tell by the things me and Double A are wearing. Uh, yeah. So, and I had to borrow this from my, my, my little sister from um, Untamable Amy, uh, a guest on our Game of Thrones episode, episode 20. Um Guys, a, a, an icon, a legend in the wrestling business is calling it quits. Hanging up the boots, hanging on the, hanging up the gloves, the MMA style gloves, and is going to take that long walk into the darkness. Guys. <laughs> the man, the phenom, the undertaker, guys. Yeah, he just retired this past Sunday. So we're doing a special tribute to him for 30 years in the business. So I want to show you guys something that I got in this, um, back in the Xbox 360 Which is days. super cool. Uh, super cool packaging. I bought this specifically for this game, specifically for this uh, uh, incentive, I guess you can call it. But this is the Undertaker Phenom Edition. Super cool. WWE 2K14. Super, super Check cool. Check that out right there. I'm trying to get it in better so you can see the whole thing. See how big that is, too? Yeah. There you go. Hey, what's up, Joe? Joe's Joe, talking about up, Joe? that. And so this slides off here. The cover is actually The Rock, actually. But, um, <laughs> the Rock. <laughs> yeah. I, I felt like if I ever got to meet Taker, I would have got him to sign this. But that, Yeah, that would have been bad. Yeah, that would have yeah, been pretty cool. Super so cool. Open up the coffin. It had like a little, uh, 
a little skin for your controller. Cool. I didn't cool. put it on because I thought it was cool and I don't cool. want I don't want to put it on. And it came with a uh, a disc here, um, which I believe is. Let me see. It's the um, the streak. So it's like you get to watch about his undefeated streak. So oh, I think they actually have a DVD of that. Yeah, too. I think yeah. that was a DVD. Of that, but this is what the awesome Undertaker logo looks nice. like right nice. there, right? And uh, also what came inside of it, which was my main Not reason bad. for buying yeah. it. That's super cool. The autographed the picture autograph. of The Undertaker. That's fucking cool. Right there. So that is really the whole super, reason why I bought this. Because cool. I figured I would never get to meet him and yeah. get an autograph. But yeah. we were pretty close at one time, right? Yeah. Totally. Yeah. He came to Austin. He did. Which he is where he lives. charging 80 And for some reason, we didn't fucking do it. God, Wasn't it like the next day was Halloween or something? I don't like, know. I don't remember. Me and you, we we convinced ourselves not to go. Yeah, and we I were actually very had the dumb. belt. Yeah, yeah, and I actually had the belt so we can sign it. Yeah, and then you know what we should have said? You know what? There might be a pandemic next year or in a couple of years, <laughs> and then we won't get to meet anybody anymore. <laughs> yeah. So we should just fucking go get yeah. the autographs now. <laughs> 2K13 with Punk was one of my favorites. I oh, have that oh, one as well. What does yeah, that look like? I have that. Hmm? What does that look like? That, that it's like the it's like a drawn it's like drawn. And you kind of ah, you don't see his face. Okay. You just see like the hands, the hands. crossed. Nice. Yeah, it's a very cool. Actually, I have nice. a T-shirt of, of nice. that game cover. Oh, okay. The okay, cover I was seen it cool too. Okay. Okay. I thought the cover was cool enough that it, it warranted a shirt, and then somebody put it on a shirt, and I bought that shirt too. Cool. So yeah, Joe's got some great pics of his kiddos uh, doing the punk, the nice. punk side of it. Nice. I think we got got a couple of mini punkers there. Nice. So um, yeah, man. Um, that's what we're going to go in on. Ministry Taker, badass. Yep. Definitely. definitely. I actually said that was my uh, favorite yep. version of Taker. That was your favorite yeah. version. And guys, the podcast is out now. You can already hear the episode now. We don't even have to tell you that we're going to get off of this and go record. We're going to get off of this uh, live and we're going to go eat more leftovers. And we might even listen to our own episode of the podcast all about The Undertaker, guys. We called it Dead Man Walking Away because he is. And that's super sad for us but also uh you know we 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 wanted him to go out in a good way and if you watch the last ride on wwe network good uh, doc good documentary great documentary pay for it like 10 bucks just for like a few days and cancel it but see that doc it's a really yeah. good documentary joe you say how what the hell what are you talking about how about the episode being out because we're off today. Magic. <laughs> we're off today. It's because we, we summoned the demons and the <laughs> druids. Yeah, I, I'm rocking my American Badass headband and, again, my little sister's shirt um, because, oddly enough, I don't have an Undertaker shirt, and I have almost like a shirt from everybody. <laughs> so i got to go out there now and check it out. I see he's doing a collab with Snoop Dogg on WWE really? uh, Shop. Oh, yeah, wow. there's like a Snoop Dogg. You can get a shirt with Snoop Dogg and Undertaker on it, Damn. and then people will ask you, why the hell is that? going on i don't know it doesn't make any sense but yeah but that's where it is guys right now out right now spotify itunes anchor.fm tune in google podcast our episode is out um dead man walking away all about the undertaker oh okay so he said undertaker retired <laughs> Joe says the Undertaker's retired, but the American badass can return. Okay, we'll take that. I'm not going to complain. You know what? We I would like that one last match with Sting. Just that'd be one. so cool. I, I say this: though. they got to they got to both go work out with DDP, do DDP yoga, and then they got to read Tom Brady's book, How to Be Old and Still Be Performing, so that way they both can do well and carry each other. And then it's got to be when things get back to normal. They, those guys need a crowd, maybe Cowboy Stadium where it's 80,000 screaming their names, and, and then, then they can both walk away. Mm-hmm. You, need, you need that crowd, man. How did y'all miss the signing? It was years ago, Joe, and I just didn't. I, I, thought, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to blame. I'm just going to blame. Me. I don't no. know. It was a stupid decision. I you know showed what? up. I, I almost feel like there was I don't a, know. there was another signing in the same weekend. I think is what happened, and we were we I did that remember. we did that toss up choice. Hey, one night we were gonna go together to go see Eddie Vedder, but the same night was Social D. Social D. We distortion. had to make choices. I wanted to see Social D too. Double A went to go see I, Social D. I went to go see Eddie Vedder. Yeah, and if you know me, Social Distortion is just like uh, my one of my favorite bands, top five yeah. bands. Uh, I told CM. CM uh, sent out a question on our group chat, and he was like, what's y'all's favorite singer-songwriter? It's Mike Ness. So, uh, 
Mike Nesson from Social Distortion is my favorite yeah. singer somewhere. Oh. Very badass. Very badass. And yeah, we just had to make those choices. I went to go see Eddie Vedder, who was doing solo stuff, like his ukulele music, and I yeah. wanted to see Pearl Jam, but I was settling, and so I missed out on Social yeah. D. But Tabby yeah. Ricky says, hey guys, happy late Turkey Day. Happy Turkey Day. This is from them. Yeah, very from cool. Saved by Grace. Yes. She, they're the ones that make it, so... Uh, check out their stuff. They have really cool ornaments. They have ornaments of the Spurs, of Houston, the Houston Texans, of Avengers, of the Cowboys. Uh, every Any Texas team you want. Any Texas team. Can we get non-Texas teams? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. And they also know. made this beautiful Just Another Friday Night ornament Yeah, that yeah. you're going to see here always. It oh, doesn't yeah. matter uh, if it's Christmas or not. You're always going to see this here. So Very nice. Very <laughs> nice. Very nice. And Joe says, yes, has to be at WrestleMania. has to be in front of a crowd. Definitely agree, man. Those guys truly deserve that. Statue um, with the piece of the mat and Mark Fine. Man, that would be really great. And then what do we got? What do we got there, Double? What is Mario talking about? This is here? a McFarlane Light Up Undertaker statue with a piece of the mat. And McFarland signed six hundred dollars. That is a great buy. At Authority great, Comics, great, great buy. You actually get a piece of the map from WrestleMania. That's Ooh, insane, nice. guys. That's yes. insane. That uh, that is a piece for any Undertaker Captain Ricky fan. Ricky says you can order uh, any other team. If you're a Laker fan, they'll do Lakers. I know. Why? If you're a Boston you fan, they, you can do Boston. And Boston Patriots. All right. Oh, jeez. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, did you anyone watch football yesterday? A little bit of football going uh, on? Joe there? wants a JF and uh, ornament. Hey, yes. there you go, Joe. Well, hey, uh, head up Saved by Grace. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, they'll send a link. Uh, you can buy an ornament. It's only like four bucks an ornament. So. Tab and Ricky, post your link for your um and they're really business, solid. So that way Joe can hit you guys up. Yeah, they're really and, solid, And get Joe. a JFN one. Yeah, Very they're cool. really solid. Yeah, we don't have these on hand, Joe. I think people, we, maybe we do things by order as they get ordered. So um, once they, that way, that way no one can cut, we can cut down on yeah, the cost. Yeah, yeah. And, and they'll get it done quick. Mm -hmm. They'll get it done super quick. And you mm -hmm. can pick up your ornament right before Christmas, so... Yeah, very cool. Except, Except Lakers. the Lakers. Nice, got, yeah. nice. Thank uh, you. We don't, Thank we don't blame you for that. I didn't so. want to say Lakers, but yeah, there's, for enough. some reason yeah. in Texas, in San Antonio, there's a lot of fucking Laker fans, and mm -hmm. it makes me disgusted. This is Spurs country, guys. Yeah, here in the it Just makes me Friday fucking disgusted podcast. whenever there's cheers for the Lakers. Yeah. Now double A, now double A is going not going off there. We don't want to alienate all of our Lakers fans out there, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> Do you listen to our podcast? If so, we forgive you. Then that's that's enough. If that's you it. listen to it, I'm not. And, you know, I, we're gonna need screenshots. We need screenshots of the likes and follows, and right. follow us on Spotify, guys. You can follow people on Spotify. Please go follow us on Spotify. Yeah. Yeah. Help, and you know what? If you've got an iPhone, leave us a review on iTunes. Go to your podcast app, open it up, search our podcast, and then leave us a review. And you can say these guys are great, even though they don't like the Lakers. It's fine with us. We're okay with that. We're okay with that. Fuck the uh, Lakers. And there you go. There's that as well. So. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I got nothing else. Double A. What do you at you? Nope. Nope. Just have a guys have a good uh, vacation if you are. Uh, yeah. For all you nurses, first responders. Thank, thank you. you so much. We're thankful for you, guys. Yeah. Please stay safe. There is a curfew in San Antonio, ten o'clock. So just be safe. Be smart. Be safe. And Don't get a thousand dollar ticket. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not worth mm -hmm. it. Okay. Go get your. It's early right now. Go get. Go get Joe your says six I hate back. Mad fans. You know what? I don't like fucking back. Dallas fans either, Joe. Fuck them. Yeah. Anything, anything <laughs> that's not in San Antonio. It's, we got a team here. All right. It's called Spurs. Yeah. And Steve says that's right. Spurs country. That's right. Steve. Joe, Tammy, Ricky posted their uh, their link. Uh, get uh, get an ornament from Just Another Friday Night. It's only four bucks. Uh, get it. It'll look good on your tree. Now, Tab and Ricky, do we see a little bit of that profit with our <laughs> logo on there? Maybe, you know, I mean, you know, I know it's a good price point, but, you know, a little kickback would be, would be nice. So. Uh, but, Joe, hit them up. Uh, they'll get it done real quick. Yeah, uh, man, get yeah. something for the kiddos, too, man. I know you got a couple of Hornets playing for you, mm -hmm. so get some uh, East Central Hornets going Ooh, on yeah, that right? as well. East Very Central, nice. right? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, guys, before I go, I do need to mention something super important. I'm, I'm so sorry. I almost forgot. Hey, guys, next oh, week... Yeah. Um, December 5th and 6th, uh, I am going to be out at Atomic Toys and more 
with Dork Dad and the Dork Dad podcast, Lucky. They were doing a tour drive, guys. Normally, every year, Lucky dresses up as Santa and gives out kids, uh, gives out toys he has to kids. For it. Uh, yeah, yeah, he does. Um, unfortunately, because of COVID, he can't do that this year, but he still wanted to make something special happen because we know that right now is going to be a really tough time for a lot of people. Um, Especially the kids. Just in general. Yeah. And imagine a family that was having a tough time before COVID yeah. and now this. Still need toys, guys, man. Still want to make Christmas special. So I'm going to get a toy for a boy and a girl, and I'm going to go out there uh, and hang out with Lucky. Uh, I may have some merch or some stickers. Maybe if you bring a toy by, I'll give you a JFN sticker. Um uh, just nice, one, just nice. one thing, guys. I'm nice. gonna, I'm gonna probably do gloves and have on my JFN mask. Yeah. Um, if you can, we know it. Times are tough and lean for everybody. But if you can, you know, one thing, one item. There's five below, guys. You can get a cool toy five mm -hmm. below. Dollar, yeah. Dollar Tree has yeah. uh, really cool Captain Marvel. It's just for Star kids Wars that really just don't get toys. Guys. So yeah. I mean, anything for yeah. them will be awesome. Yeah, man. Uh, Lucky reached out to me after we were on his show, the Dork Dad Podcast, and said, "Hey, would you guys want to do this?" Um, and I said, yeah, man, that's awesome. We, we sure do want to uh, help, um, you know, kids. So, guys, again, this toy drive is going to be at 1023 Riddiman Road, Suite 109, San Antonio, Texas, 78218. I'll post this again in the comments. And I've already posted up co uh, links and I posted up um, the... Uh, the address and everything in the Friday Night Faithful, but I'm going to keep reposting it this week leading up. It's also on our Instagram. But again, that is at Atomic Toys and More, and that's a Toys for Tots toy drive. December 5th and 6th will be out there. Um, I might only be out one day, but uh, Lucky also says here that there's a free raffle with prizes for anyone that donates. So in addition to me maybe giving you a sticker, um, I hope I'm going to have those by then. I think I will. Then you also... Um, you get entered into some kind of raffle, so that'd be pretty cool too. Yeah. So we want to we want to uh, get in on that. Steve says I'm in on the toy check. Thank you so much, Steve. We really appreciate that. Uh, and Joe says he plans to go by. Joe, thank you so much, guys. Again, this is for the kids, man. I don't want any kid waking up without anything to open on Christmas. That's the absolute worst. Yeah. So um, please um, go out there. Toys for Tots toy drive. Jeremy, Jeremy says, finally made my Facebook. You must be really bored at my house if you made a Facebook. Facebook is is uh, not your age group, but we're happy to have you here. Now that you're on, Jeremy, make sure you go like our page, <laughs> follow us, and share <laughs> all this here. Uh, Tab says, sir, if I charge six, you can get up to two. <laughs> you know what? For Joe, uh, you don't have to. Just Joe has probably done, probably... He's probably one of our top guys that hey, actually shares our if stuff. If you're so. slapping our logo on stuff, just make sure you take a picture of it and share it. That way people will see, hey, yeah, what Joe is that? Will. Yeah, Joe will. Yeah, for so. sure. So we appreciate that, guys. Yeah, Joe's one of our best. So. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. As are all the Friday Night Faithful. We appreciate yeah. guys. But guys, yes, again, please, if anyone has any questions about the toy drive, the Toys for Tots, send me a message. Send yeah, me a DM. Send, send them on our Facebook, send on our it, Twitter, yeah, uh, on our Instagram. Facebook, our Twitter, our Instagram. Hit up CM, um, you know, and... He'll, he'll take care of you. I'll uh, get back to you guys for yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll make sure the toys get to the kids. I'm gonna go. I, so, I want to get something cool. I might go. I might go check out Big Lot. Sometimes they have some really cool wrestling. I'll probably toys. get some stuff too. Yeah. So see him. Yeah. Uh, can. Uh, and you if know, you absolutely kind of can't get out to the toy drive, but you want to donate something, let, let me know. Yeah. It's understandable. Yeah. Let me know, and, and maybe I can pick up, or we can do something else, Venmo, PayPal, something yeah. like that. I don't, yeah. If you can, if you can't, we totally get it. It's but not again, a big deal. We, okay. we, want to, we want to help out the, the kiddos yeah. on this. Yeah. Guys, we've eaten up about 40 minutes of your time like we have tend to been doing on Friday night, so we appreciate you hanging in there, joining with us. Guess what? You don't have to wait for us to record our episode tonight because it's already it's on. on. Yeah. yeah. So you get to go listen to it right now, right after this, on your favorite podcast platform listening system. And again, it's all about The Undertaker. So before we go, we want to remind you all to do what, Double A? Rest, Rest in peace. peace. And we'd roll our eyes back in our heads. But I can't. I can't really do it. <laughs> Guys, we appreciate you. Peace and love. We're out.